Hi, in this video, let's talk about Devin, the first AI software engineer that was introduced on 13th of March 2024 by Cognition Labs. Many software engineers are in panic thinking that they will lose their jobs, as Devin takes over most of the engineering tasks and completes them accurately. Is there a really possibility of taking over engineering jobs? So let's discuss in this video. First, let's understand what is Devin. As per the Cognition Lab blog, Devin is defined as fully autonomous AI software engineer that can perform all the software engineering tasks that a real human software engineer does in his day-to-day -day life. Devin is also introduced as one of your team members. That means we get a first clarity stating that Devin is not here to steal your job. Instead, it will be working as one of your team members to solve some of the repetitive tasks and solving some of the complex tasks that a real software engineer does in his day-to-day -day life. Now let's understand capabilities of Devin. In the first video, we see that Devin can create a presentation by comparing performance data of Llama over different providers. So the first capability is creating a presentation over the browser. The other capabilities of Devin include bug fixing, generating images, build and deploy end-to-end -end apps, browse the internet for finding a solution to an existing problem, take some of the open GitHub issues and solve them, take some of the Upwork's tasks and complete them successfully. So these are some of the tasks that Devin can perform easily. Now let's dig into Devin's toolbox. Just like normal software engineer uses tools like code editor, command line and browser, Devin is also capable of using same tools. Code editor to write the code, command line to execute the code and browser to create a presentation or access the internet to find a solution to an existing problem. So these are the tools Devin is capable of using easily. Now let's talk about Devin's technologies. From the blog, there is nothing mentioned about the technologies that Devin is using. But according to me, Devin might be using the below four technologies. First is NLP. It takes human readable text as input and generates a human readable text as output. The second technology it might be using is machine learning to get the data and generate a pattern out of it. The third technology is long-term reasoning and processing. It generates a code and tries to debug the same code. The fourth technology is it uses the APIs to access the internet via browser. So these are the four technologies I am proposing it might be using. Now let's compare real software engineer versus Devin. So let me take my example what I do as a software engineer. First go to office. Then get assigned with the task, for example, let's take bug fix task. Then understand the problem or understand the existing code. Then develop a fix for the bug. Then test the fix thoroughly. Then document the fix by creating a document. Then review the same document with one of your senior most colleague. Then finally check in the code. So if the above mentioned tasks are performed by Devin 100% accurately, so then it may replace the real software engineer in the future. Now let's understand Devin's performance. There is a software benchmark graph where Devin is being compared with the other AI models available in the market. So out of 100 GitHub issues that were given to Devin, so it is able to solve only 13.87% accurately. To reach 100%, so Devin should work hard. Now the million dollar question, can Devin replace software engineering jobs? So with today's accuracy, I don't think Devin is capable of replacing the software engineers. But if accuracy is improved in the future, Devin or any AI model will definitely replace the software engineers. As we are discussing about AI, I thought of bringing some of the limitations of AI. So the first limitation of AI is it cannot solve novel problem. For example, let's take I give an apple to AI and ask it to peel so it will definitely do it. 
but if I give a weird fruit that is unknown to the humankind and ask AI to peel, so it will definitely not do that. So it cannot solve a novel problem. The second limitation of AI is ethical consideration. For example, let's take AI is being used for hiring a employees of a company. And if in the past company has hired only male candidates and suppose if female candidates apply, AI may drop the female candidates. So this is one of the limitation of AI. The third limitation of AI is copyright issues. Companies are here to make value for their investors and their employees. So if one company copies the work of other company, so it may raise a copyright issues and leads to court cases. So this is the third limitation of AI. So now let's conclude this vlog. So given accuracy rate of AI models which is very less and given set of limitations of AI, I don't think AI is going to replace the software engineering jobs in next 5 years. So with that said, let's conclude this vlog. So let's meet in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye.